Hey trainers, welcome back to Trainer TV. Today, Professor Chris and I are going against each other with our decks we use in the Expanded. Yes. Uh, I have Seismitoad here. I have my Raichu. Awesome, so let's see how this goes. I'll try your method. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. As you guys may have seen in the tournament etiquette video, I'm now going to add, put a die on top of my deck here to uh, show how many mulligans we get to draw for. Since there appear to be a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I will draw my two mulligans. Are you ready? Yeah. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Alright, draw for turn. Um, bench of Zubat. Sneaky biters. <laughs> Sneaky. Uh, let's see, we'll go Ultra Ball. Okay. For a chorus and a fire energy. Okay. Search through my deck. So what I'm doing now, if you notice, now I've already found the Pokemon I'm looking for, but I'm looking through my deck to see if I can notice what has been prized, so I know what I have to go off of for the rest of the game, and if there are any really important cards that I'm missing. Ultra Ball for a Pikachu. Okay. <clears throat> I will attach a double colorless energy. Place scoop up cyclones, take my shaman back. Promoting the Zubat. Um, play down shaman and you set up to draw three cards. Okay. And. N. No. <laughs> I had my hand. I was gonna say, you all saw his hand, you know. <laughs> you had an enhanced hammer and a DCE. <laughs> I'm feeling it. I had a crushing hammer. Ah, Could have been enhanced. Could have been. At the DC end of the uh, muscle man. You had it. This is I one hate thing. Ed. <laughs> I think pretty much every Pokemon player has a love-hate relationship with N. Yeah, because we've all won, we all have won with it and we all have lost to it. Exactly. New sleeves. Ha having trouble over there. When you have new sleeves, they go all over the place. <laughs> Sycamore. Okay. For seven. Huh? 
Muscle man. And quick mention the knockout. That is the knockout. Even without the poison. <laughs> Promote Zubat and draw. Um, I will bench a Zubat. Okay. Um, evolve to Golbat for 20 damage on Trubbish. I will play down Pikachu. Mm -hmm. AZ. Pick up Shaman. Okay. Put Shaman back down. Set up for 5. Mm hmm. And I will I will what do I do, you guys? <laughs> I will pass to you. Okay. Uh water energy to this size of town. Burbank. Shadow Triad for Hypnotoxic Laser. Laser. Shadow Triad allows you to get a plasma card out of your discard, correct? Yep. Beautiful. And it's reverse. <laughs> beauty. She <laughs> a beauty. Make sure it went back into focus. Oh, yeah. Um, And I guess I will just quick and punch for the knockout. All right. So that's 50, and then after the poison damage, that's a knockout on my gold bat. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to promote Pikachu. Okay. And I will write you. Put down Vulpix okay. and Sycamore. Okay. Discarding Crobat, Sycamore, and Sacred Ash. So as he does this, I'm keeping track of the cards he's discarding, so I know what he's played, what he hasn't. Uh, so just after that turn, there's two Sycamores in the discard pile, so mm -hmm. keeping track of those. I will play down another Raichu. Okay. And I will... Treat this Raichu mm -hmm. to put up... Do that. All right. And, and pass. pass. Okay. Draw my card. Um, I will use Ultra Ball. Discarding. I wish I could use an Ultra Ball. <laughs> <laughs> I will Jice. And a Crushing Hammer. So why did you choose to discard the Red Ice? Because uh, Red Ice works against Pokemon EX, and the only Pokemon he has is Shaman, and it's probably not attacking. So uh, that's why I chose to discard that one. I'm gonna go for a Garboder. So the Red Ice is what you would consider a tech card for certain decks. Yeah, exactly. I have them in there for the tough EX matchups. Um, since, you know, Seismitoad can't always hit for huge amounts of damage. Right. Is that if you'd like to cut? Tap. Alright, I'll evolve into Garboder. Which means no more abilities for any Pokemon on the field, correct? Yes, uh -huh. We're all shut off. Um, water Energy to Seismitoad. Muscle Band to Seismitoad. And Chorus. Ooh. Um, this is great against uh, Raichu and Rayquaza decks. Um, mm -hmm. You know, just to draw for those benched Pokemon. So I get to draw eight cards, correct? That's correct. Five for me, three for you. Awesome. Chorus is still amazing and expanded, guys. So make sure you have at least one copy in your deck. Use. 
I have my, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more, eight. Uh, quick and punch with a knockout. Or Zubat. No, Zubat. I will draw for my turn. I will. Mm. I will play Chorus. Okay. Four, seven. seven. Decent hand. That's what I'm hoping for here. <laughs> now he's gonna get a decent hand out of his Chorus. seem to work out relatively in our favor. So, I'm going to play Skyfield. Okay. Uh, muscle Band. Mm -hmm. DCE. Okay. And let's see here. I'm going to choose not to play certain cards down in my hand at this moment. Um, all right, I'm going to circle circuits for 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 100 damage. Very nice. Thank you, thank you. Can get the nine. Got my card. I am going to Enhanced Hammer. So long, second double colorless <laughs> energy. Goodbye. Um, I'm going to scoop up Cyclone to get rid of that damage. Throw out this size of a toad that already has a two water energy on it. Um, Play Seismitoad back down. Um, now this is an interesting little choice. I'll play Muscle Band back onto Seismitoad. Um, DCE onto this Seismitoad. And I will play a Float Stone onto Shaman. And Lysander, his Shaman, EX. Alright. Now this is something Seismitoad decks usually don't want to do, but I'm going to use Grenade Hammer to make sure it's a knockout, leaving me with only one prize card left. Those are my two prizes. And he can play items this turn, and then I'm going to go ahead and have to put uh, 30 damage out of these Pokemon here. Real quick. 32 Garboder and 32 Shaman. All right. I will go ahead and draw. Okay. And I am going to, even though they currently won't do anything for me, I'm going to play down Jirachi and Shaman. Okay. And I am going to play... Professor Sycamore, discarding an Ultra Ball and an Escape Rope. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Trainer's Mail. Okay. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to opt to take the Ultra Ball. Alright. Oops, oops, that's discarded. Yeah. <laughs> it is a shoveling back in. <laughs> Ultra Ball. Okay. Away two Skyfields. Sure. 
So now I'm going to go look through his deck. I see one, two, three uh, Skyfields out. I'm going to look through his, not his deck, his discard pile to see if he has a fourth Skyfield in here because then if he has another one in here, um, which he doesn't, I can go try to find in my Verbank City Gym and know I can play it without him replacing that stadium. So feel free to pick up your opponent's, you know, discard pile or, you know, of course, say, let me see it. Right. Um, but go through it, um, see what he's played, what he hasn't played, um, to kind of form the, your strategy for the rest of the match. I'll play down another Pikachu. Okay. Another Shaman. Sure. And um, so you guys know what I was doing. I was attempting to look for a Ninetales. And what that would do is that would lock in my Skyfield Stadium. However... It was not in my deck, which means it's sitting in these lovely prize cards right over <laughs> here. So I was forced to pick up something else, so I opted to go with a Pikachu. True. But if he had done that, he uh, he would have been shut off by Garvoder. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, and at this point, there's nothing left I can do because I didn't hit any of my energies. So at this point, I'm forced to pass. And you know what happens then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is kind of one of the examples we were talking about earlier. He has 90 HP. I have enough to knock him out with one hit without playing these cards in my hand. This is where you kind of want to go without um, prolonging the game. Right. It's, it's just courteous to your opponent, you know? Right. It's not like, oh, I, yeah, you know. I, I, yeah, and at this point, it also um, wouldn't be improper for me to concede knowing that there's nothing else I can do. You see, my highest HP Pokemon is Shaman, and his Grenade Hammer can still knock the Shaman out. So no matter what I do, next turn, he is going to win the match. So it would not be inappropriate, and it's not seen, it's not seen as being a, uh, a bad sport right. if you were to concede the game right. at that point. Yeah, don't think you're a don't think you're a quitter or anything right. for that. When you know it's over, and you can see that, and there's no way out of it, you know, save the time and go get yourself some lunch or yeah, <laughs> get exactly. out to game two. It's especially uh, during tournaments as well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, grenade hammer for the knockout. knockout. Awesome. And my last prize was uh, Professor Sycamore. Let's take a look at what these beauties were. Ooh, Let's see. Band Lysander. Nice. And there's my nine tails and gold back. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good game. Good game. <laughs> Yeah.